In this video I will show you shortly how to use the Cogmet 14 software. Cogmet software is used to operate Gasmet FTIR gas analyzers and to display and analyze the results from the gas analyzers. For Cogmet 14 we have two different versions, Cogmet Easy and Cogmet Expert. And in this video I will shortly go through both of those software versions and the basic operation and the most important settings. When you start Cognit 14 without an expert key, this is what it looks like. So it starts in Cognit Easy mode and in Results view. If you want to start measuring, you can first configure the settings. So click Menu and first select Application. Application file defines all the settings that Calcumet is using to do the measurements and analysis. So open the application file that you wish to use and then go back to menu and check that you are using the measuring times you want. One minute is recommended, but you can use shorter measurement times if you wish to have higher time resolution of the results. Save the results by clicking OK. Then click Auto Saving and check that you are saving all the files that you wish to save during sampling and analysis. So in this menu you can select which files you are saving while you are measuring and analyzing the results. If you wish to do post analysis of the results, select Auto Save Sample Spectra. It is recommended that you always save both sample and result files. You can then also select where, where you are saving the files by clicking Browse and selecting the right path. Click OK when you have defined the settings you wish to, wish to set. These are all saved to the application file, so you don't have to configure these every time you start Calcmet. Then make sure in configuration that you are using the right communication mode. So the communication mode in the configuration settings must match the one you have switched your analyzer to. Now we are using USB mode. Click OK. Now that we have configured the settings, we can start measuring. Firstly, check your analyzer status by clicking hardware. If the status is OK, you are ready to measure. If it's not OK, Wait a little bit more for the analyzer to stabilize. When the status is OK, you can close the window. You can also see guiding info here in the bottom banner. If you wish to measure a new background, you can click here and then your new background is displayed. Then when you want to start measuring samples, you can either select 5 second single measurement or 60 second single measurement Single measurements don't start the analyzer pump, but if you want to start the analyzer pump and start pulling sample in the analyzer, you can click continuous. Then the continuous measurement will begin according to the settings you have defined in the measuring time settings menu. Results update to this results view continuously when, you're, when you are measuring. So if you have a 60 second measurement time, every minute you will get new results. So the results view shows all of the components you have included in the analysis and their concentrations and the concentration units. If the measurement is OK, OK is displayed here in the bottom banner. If there is a warning or an alarm, the bottom banner will change color and display warning or alarm. You can get more information about the warning or alarm by clicking the banner. So this view shows the analysis results. If you wish to view the result spectrum, you can click here to toggle to the spectrum view. So this is the sample spectrum that we have measured. We can also zoom in by dragging and then zoom out by right clicking. In the trend view, you can follow the concentration changes as a function of time. You can select and deselect the compounds that are displayed in the trend view by clicking them here in the results view. You can also here 
zoom in by dragging and zoom out by right clicking. If you wish to stop your measurement, you can click stop here in the panel. If you need support, you can always create a support package by clicking support package. You can send that to your Gosmet distributor or Gosmet contact person so they can help you. If you want to check what Calcmet version you are using, you can click the Gosmet logo here. If you want to configure the settings for different communication modes, switch the analyzer to USB mode, select USB communication also here in configuration, and then co go to analyzer setup. This analyzer setup menu will not open if you are not using USB communication. In this menu, you can configure the wireless settings for your analyzer. So in configure menu, you configure the settings for your laptop or tablet. And in this menu, you configure the settings for analyzer. For Wi-Fi station, you can define the wireless network you're connecting to. If you need more information about the fields in this menu, you can check out the Calcmet Easy manual. In Wi-Fi access point, you can define the password and IP address for your analyzer. Similarly, you can configure the settings for Ethernet. And finally, there are also settings for Bluetooth. From here, you can turn on this query on your analyzer and pair your analyzer with your tablet or laptop. Then if you want to go to Calcmet Expert, you will have to plug in a Calcmet Expert HASP key to make the Calcmet Expert selection visible. Now that we have plugged in the Calcmet Expert key, we can change to Calcmet Expert mode. Now we can see that the view is slightly different. We can simultaneously view analysis results, sample spectrum, residual spectrum, and the trend view. If you want to switch back to Calcmet Easy, uh, you can either click here on the on the toolbar or you can go to tools and click Calcmet Easy. In Calcmet Expert, you have fully tunable analysis settings. So if you want to tune your analysis settings, go to edit and analysis settings. Then you will see all of the analysis settings um, defined for your application file and you can modify those. So you can deselect a component from analysis or select the reference files. You can, you can tune the measuring ranges and many other things. You can check the Calcmet Expert manual for more information on tuning the analysis settings. When you have made your changes, you can click OK to save your settings. If you want to measure in Calcmet Expert mode, you can start continuous measurement here or single measurements here. We have options for five second measurement, 20 second measurement, one minute measurement and a three minute measurement. If you change your window positions and wish to return to the original ones, you can restore the window positions. Or if you wish to save your new window position to your application file, you can click save position. Similarly, as in Calcmet Easy, you can find the settings for measuring times and auto saving. You just have to click options and measuring times. So you can find your auto saving settings by clicking options and auto saving and results output. If you wish to change the application file you are using, go to options and application. Click browse and select the application file you want to use. If you want to modify the settings, but also keep the original application file, you can click create new and, and create a new application. So you don't save, save on top of the original file. Then click OK. If you want to use the additional tools in Calcmet Expert, like identification tool or simulation tool, you can find them in the tools menu. If you want to zoom in in the windows, in the spectrum windows, you can do it just like in Calcmet Easy. So by dragging and then right click to zoom out. If you are using a touchscreen device, you can zoom out by pushing the touchscreen for a couple of seconds. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you want to find out more about the identification tool, you can check out our identification tool video. If you have any questions or wish to know more, you can also check out our website or contact us.